Hi, my name is Dipti. I'm the Climate Justice and Energy Coordinator of Friends of the Earth International. And we have already seen that what the world leaders are going to produce is going to completely burn the planet. No matter what happens in that UN process, the people's struggles continue to get stronger. And we are here in Paris to build people's power and to have the last word. And devastate communities and not stop catastrophic climate change. But we decided as Friends of the Earth International and many, many of our allies that we, the people, the real leaders, were going to have the last word. So we have done that, we have kept our promise. In spite of the changing circumstances in Paris, we have brought many, many people to Paris who they've been arriving at different times of the day today and they've come into this beautiful space which is an assembly and they've been engaging in, in the art space, they've been networking together, they've been sharing food and drink together. They've been in many workshops, they've been hearing about what's happening in the COP. They've been hearing about the struggles against coal in Indonesia and in Sri Lanka. They've been really engaging with some of these dirty energy struggles that, that we, that's what we wanted to bring to Paris. And in a little while we're going to start with the assembly so that we can have a common joint moment where all of us, all thousands that are in this room can come together and focus our energies. We honor the place that we are, we hear from the French. We'll hear some stories of dirty energy struggles from the South. We'll hear about what's going on in the world right now, what's going on over there at La Bourget. And then we will have a chance to renew our commitment that no matter what happens in that UN process, the people's struggles continue to get stronger. And we are here in Paris to build people's power and to have the last word. Friends of the Earth International, in the last two weeks here at Paris COP21, we have been everywhere. We have been inside the negotiations, we have been outside on the streets, we have been doing very nice, vibrant actions on the inside, pushing the limits of the UN security, trying to do the best that we can. We've also been outside, we've been at the Global Village of Alternatives, at the Climate Action Forum, engaging with our hosts here in France, we've also been connecting with Friends of the Earth, Friends of the Earth France's events here and really honoring the fact that they are hosting us. And also we've been connecting with civil society from across the world because one of our important priorities going forward in 2016 and beyond is movement building and to really work with our allies to build our political coherence and to find ways ahead with people's power because we know that the so-called world leaders are not going to do their job, so we are the ones that need to take the initiative and carry us forward. Tomorrow, December 12th, is the day that we had always planned to be the big mobilizations. So there are many beautiful actions and mobilizations that are planned tomorrow. There's going to be an event where we come together, not all of us, but we come together in small groups and we build together in a very technologically savvy way. The words climate justice and peace will start to appear on a Google map and it sounds really strange, but it's going to be very nice and beautiful. We're also going to participate along with our friends at 350 and at uh, an attack in the Red Lines action where it's, it's going to be a memorial to the, the victims of climate change. There's so many frontline communities who have already been impacted and we're going to have flowers there for them. We're also going to, to have another gathering at the Eiffel Tower and the Eiffel Tower is very symbolic because that's what's on the COP21 symbol. So in a way, it's closing this whole two weeks of events by coming together at the Eiffel Tower, pushing the limits of the French emergency and saying that people claim the public space.